Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobiputing, and I'm uh, going to take a quick look here at the latest version of the Mozilla Firefox web browser for Android. It was uh, just released, and it's supposed to have faster page rendering, zooming, and uh, panning, and other features, and uh, including faster startup times. As you can see, it actually loaded pretty quickly. Now, a couple of things that make Firefox Mobile interesting are uh, support for tabs. You just sort of scroll to the side and support for add-ons here. So you can see we've got uh, Twitter, Wikipedia, Personas, Reading List, Twitter Bar, etc, etc. So let's take a quick look here at page load speeds. It'd probably help if I typed in the name of my website properly. And yeah, that's a lot faster than it used to be, I have to say. Let's go ahead and uh, load up an article here. Now let's take a look at the full version of the website. Okay, so it's still taking some time to get some of the content on the sides here. And one thing that's kind of always bugged me is that uh, when a page hasn't fully loaded, you wind up with these checkered bars. Um, so you can see those down there. But they don't last nearly as long because the web browser is a lot faster than it used to be. Let's take a look at a website with a lot more content, like New York Times. Again, we get some checkered bars, but they disappear pretty quickly here. And we can open more pages in different tabs. So let's open Firefox homepage here. Shows a list of uh, tabs that had been opened last time. Drag to the side, open another tab. Let's go back to mobile computing. And you can see that we've got a list of tabs here and little icons showing what's available on them. Go back to the New York Times website, and let's open an article. Now the other thing that's always uh, bugged me a little bit about Firefox on mobile devices is that when you zoom in, the fonts actually tend to look a little, I don't know if fuzzy is quite the right word, but they... Um, don't look quite right immediately, but they zoom into shape a lot faster than they used to here. So they go from, actually when you're, they're larger, they're pretty good. Um, so they go from sort of these almost pixelated fonts into uh, uh, fully readable, clear fonts. I'm not entirely sure why it does that, um, but again, the time that it takes to resolve fonts is much better than it used to be. Now, the other thing I wanted to look at here is one thing that's a little bit surprising, given that Firefox has always been a leader in support for third-party add-ons, there is currently no support for Adobe Flash. So when you open a page that has Flash, it tells you that you need to download the uh, latest Flash player. I don't know if you can read that because it's kind of sunny in here, but it's basically telling us that uh, you need to upgrade your Adobe Flash Player to watch this video, um, which is something that I would expect to see on a desktop browser. On the on, uh, Flash Player is installed here, and I can use it in the native Android browser. I can use it in um, Dolphin HD and other browsers, but for some reason Firefox doesn't support it yet. Um, we go in and look at the plugins and search for Flash. and no matches are found. So there you go. Uh, it's a quick look at the latest version of Firefox 4 beta for Android. Much better, much faster than it used to be. Uh, definitely approaching um, the speeds that I would expect from a good mobile browser. Um, 
the, the, the checkered bars, still kind of annoying. The font uh, resolving issue is still a little bit annoying, but so much faster than it used to be that um, you might not even really notice them. And if you were downloading this for the first time, um, you, you might not even see them. The lack of support for Flash is still a little bit troubling, but uh, hopefully it's something that Adobe and or Mozilla can work on uh, in the future. This is Brad Linder for Mobile Computing and a uh, first look at Firefox 4 Beta 5, I believe, for Google Android.